Yes. I tell you. Aren't you excited? Aren't you excited? You got the call, right? <clears throat> you got that wake up call. Right? You got that wake up call. I got that wake up call. Hmm. Okay. Where my party at? Party people. Party people. What day is it? Hey, Rena. I was going to call you happy birthday, girl. But your month has came and gone. I still have stuff for you. Happy Friday. Yes, darling. Happy Friday. I'm rubbing myself in uh, blessing oil. My gold fleck. The end of it. You know, Deborah sends me blessing oil every year. And I think she told me that they stopped putting the gold dust in the blessing oil. So I be so I use it very sparingly. How are you? How are you this happy Friday? This happy Friday. Hashtag I am enough. And tell me how you are. Can you believe it? It's Friday? Where did my week go? I tell you. How are you doing? Share the video. We're going to have some fun. This is Friday. Not that, you know, not that we don't have fun every day, but... Let's get some few more folks on the line here. See if they ready to make it happen. But if not, it's okay. As my grandbaby say, I'm okay. I'm okay. If not... It's okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm excited we're we're in our twenty one day. Motivational Mastery. Uh, where's my stuff? I tell you. Addison is trying to spread her love germs to me. I said, oh no. I felt my throat being scratchy. Hold on one second. Okay, I felt my throat being scratchy, and I said, uh-uh, no way, not going to happen. I laid my hands on it, and said, you will not cut up like that. So, I'm going to jump on in here. We're in our, um, yes, I am enough. We're in our 21-day motivational mastery. Um, I'm going to do a quick recap because it is Friday. We started, woo-woo, we started March 20th, first day of spring, yes. And we have been chugging along, being consistent because cons consistency pays off. Yes, consistency pays off. Yes, it does. So, 
Day one, we talked about the power of um, prayer and basically starting your day off before you get out of bed, before you start moving around, you know, to get your get your prayer spirit right. Meditate, um, reflect, see, see that, see, see how life was or just kind of go over your day the prior day and see where you are and in your activity whatever it is you want to accomplish day two we talked about visualization and dreams and always having something besides your bed or carrying something in your purse or wherever you go because when a when a vision comes to you you don't know where you are and the thing about it is we're moving so fast this this time this time is moving so fast that you don't want to miss something by default, you know, default because your brain or your, you just got too cloudy and chaotic that you didn't take time to write it down. Day three, we talked about reading, reading at least 10 to 15 pages of something that 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 goes in alignment to that thing that you're working on so if it's learning something new if it's sharpening some skills whatever it is if if you want to learn whatever you you want to do be intentional about it you know be deliberate about it. So read that thing. Um, it could be like you, you you might have a goal of saying, you know, I'm going to read X amount of numbers of books a year. And if that's the case, then you got to start reading. You got to put down some time to do that and, and listen. And, and we also talked about listening. The things you listen to will... Um, make a difference you know they will they will add to your life so you have to be very deliberate in that and then speaking what are you saying day four we talked about getting that index card and writing down that one specific goal that one goal that um that one major goal and then on the back of it writing down matthew 7 7 um, and then saying saying that verse, saying that thing, that, that one goal, saying that no minimum than three times a day. Because what you're doing, you're working on reprogramming how you normally do stuff. And we also talked about gratitude and people, you know, and um, how people, places, and projects is what moves us and, and what keeps us in that energy of um momentum and, and and activity you know so you need to be connected with the people that's gonna excite you to do that or not even that but just to learn people come into your life you don't quite know how you don't you may not know why but if we pay attention then the lesson maybe during their stay in your life or when they leave it will be revealed to you so you got to be conscious of that Day five, we talked about the power of words. And I'm going to talk more about that today because that's pretty much today's lesson. Um, so we come back to that. Day six, we talked about self-discipline and why that's so key. Nothing happens without self-discipline. It really doesn't. All the successful people, that's the top of their things. If you read their top 10 list, discipline will be in that mix because you can't manifest anything without the discipline. Um, and we also talked about forgiveness. That's super key and powerful too. And being honest with yourself. Day eight, we talked about defining your why. You know, you got to know why you're doing a thing. Because if you don't know, then you, you, you're you not going to stick with it. It's not going to work out. It's just, it's just going to fall flat. So knowing your why is a very strong decision and why you take on the things or why you sign up for something or why you tell yourself you're going to do it. That's, that's going to be that glue that holds you to it if you know why you're doing something. And that's another great topic to explore more into. Um, day nine, we talked about letting go you know letting go of those negative thoughts letting go of those things that people told you those lies those um those things that maybe you you may have uh oh you may have inherited that 
through some generational curses, you know, negative thoughts and stuff. Ten, we talked about it's time to change your BS, day ten. You know, your belief system, and that goes with the prior message because we all came here free, but then we got cloudy by these restrictions that people, parents, society, school teachers, all of these things placed on us and, and told, I mean, some of it was a lie. Most, A lot of it was a lie, you know, so you have to make a decision that you want to change your belief system, especially if you try, if your intention is to walk in this, in this mastery, this uh, motivational mastery. Day 11, we talked about be, a, be intentional. In day 12, we talked about being hungry for your success. Day 13, we said to be unstoppable. You know, we can't let anything stop us from that. Nothing can get in our way. And we continue that on day 14. Day 15, we talked about getting a coach. You have to, you know, if you're really, if you're, if you're really intentional about your success in any area, I, I know I have a, a good friend and she shows people how to organize their home. And when you go into her home, you see it. You be like, wow, I want to do this. I want to learn how to do this. So if that's something that you want to do, then you have to get help with these things. A lot of stuff you just don't know. You don't know what you don't know. And your strength may not be in a certain area. So in those areas, get the help, get the support, get aligned to those groups that you need to. Do, do, do you agree with me? Thumbs up, hand clap, something. Give me some energy. So day 16, we talked about make, make your move before you're ready. Make your move before you're ready. Now, that is so powerful because when you, a lot of times we're hesitant. And that hesitation is fear. And we're waiting for everything to line up. Oh, the stars got to be a certain way. The moon got to be flipped upside down. You know, all of this stuff does not happen when you are trying to make an attempt to do something. You sometimes you just, well, I'm not going to kill with you. All the time, you just got to get started. Nothing is ever, it's never going to be perfectly lined up for you to start there's always going to be a hiccup and if it's not a hiccup now then it'll be a hiccup later day 17 we talked about it's your time to win and it's okay to say no you know when you want to when you want to take something and really hone into it knowing that this is for me. This is my thing. This is my time. Happy rising. <clears throat> this is my time. When you know that 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 is your thing that you're supposed to be walking in. And you have to know that it's your time to win. And that's what we talked about on day 17. Now day 18. Yesterday. Wow. No, yeah, 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 yesterday. Day 18, we talked about being willing to take a risk. You have to, in life, you got to do something different. You have to shake it up a little bit. You have to say, you know, I want to challenge myself to do a thing. And you got to go after that thing. You know, you got to, you. in order to grow, you got to see these things come to life that your that that thought process brings you because it, it brought you that 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 thought came your way for a reason so now it's time for you to um to jump in there and just do it yes just do it hashtag i am enough and happy rising to you love um Now, we on day 19. Today. 
today, today, today. So that was our quick recap. That was our quick recap. We started this thing March um, 20th, our 21 day motivational mastery. We are in our day 19. Day 19. Day 19 is exciting. Now, for some of you all, it's Friday. And I I looked up at the calendar and said, what happened? Where did the time, what what happened to those, the Monday, the Tuesday, the Wednesday? You know, it's gone. And today, it is your time. Today, and I'm going to say this again. Wake up. Wake up on purpose wake up winning okay today is that day now i had a a interesting call last yesterday and someone said to me you know i've eliminated some people like on facebook because when i look through their timeline you know it's always um negative and you know it's like a lot of like just crazy Um, I call it lower vibration, you know, they said something else, but you know, it was, it was a lot of things that, that they say, you know, and I just don't want that coming through my, through my space. I said, I understand. And they said to me, but you know, I never, I've never seen anything less than something positive or something um, constructive on your timeline. And I said, thank you. You know, I've been on Facebook since 2010. Um, I think that's when Facebook started. I'm not sure. And I used to have two Facebook pages. I used to have one for business and one for family. They both were pretty much the same. But then when I got off social media for probably about, mm, I don't know, maybe not quite a year but I just didn't, I wasn't doing any social media because I had to really, really work on myself. And so I just put all of that down. But then when I came back, I came back into my personal page. I didn't even mess with my business page because I wasn't doing that that type of business anymore, not on that level. So I just came back over and I wasn't really sure what, what I was going to be doing or anything like that. But I just came back in this page. So it never... It never changed from from my um, from my content being positive because that's what I am. You know, there's no separation between me and positivity. You know, not to say I won't go off on you, tell you what you know, tell you what's on my mind. None of that. I'm not perfect. I never said I was perfect, but I do things deliberately, especially when you're talking about. Things that never go away. See, social media, things you put on the internet, it never goes away. It's always out there. And um, so that brings me to today's discussion, and that is your brand. You and your brand. You are your brand. Okay? So it doesn't matter whether you are in business for yourself part-time or full-time in business for yourself, hustling on the side, full-time job, working a Fortune 500 company, work, working with um, 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 startup companies, um, multi-level marketing. It doesn't matter. Your brand is you. You are your brand. And when you talk about self motivation being um being conscious and being aware of what you're doing do not overlook typing in how how do the facebook thing go let me let me pull it up right quick it says what's on your mind that's the question that facebook asks you what's on your mind let me tell you that mind is tricky that mind sometimes can be confusing. So don't get tricked into that question by screwing all of this stuff out that does not add anything to your benefit. Okay? If there is a problem or a situation that you need to deal with, damn it, deal with it. 
deal with it pick up the phone call somebody invite that person over for lunch do something to really do a face-to-face -face with the people and don't use facebook as a as a target practice uh, as a let me say something subliminal and hope that they catch it and all that kind of stuff don't nobody got time for that i don't now you might but I don't. So I just want to encourage you to be mindful of that. And if you're doing that, if that's you, then stop it. You know, if that's you, it just it's not making sense. Because if you are all about trying to pull yourself up and, and level up, get to your next level, then you got to let go of those lower vibrations, those things that don't serve you. Word. Hello? Yes? No? You agree? You don't? Now, remember I told you about words. So, this is what this is what I want you to do. And and this is powerful. You know, remember I shared how you need to listen to stuff, how you need to feed that mind and stuff. I want to challenge you today. Everybody have smartphones whether it's Androids or iPhones or whatever, they have recordings on it. I want you to stand in the mirror and record yourself with affirmation statements. Affirm your life. Say your I am's. Say your I am's. It could be as big as you want it to be. Don't mess around with smart thinking, okay? That's one thing about it. Don't mess around with small thinking. So say your I am's. I am beautiful. I am positive. I am energetic. I am full of life. I am ready. I am open to learn. I am able to succeed. I am grateful. I, I, I am empowered to help other people. You know, in my book, I have over 107, well, exactly 107 affirmations and i this was very important to me when i was writing this book somebody had suggested to take the affirmations out they were like that's too much you you given you put too much in this book but i had to go with it i said no i want to do this the way that i wanted to do it because i want this the my book is not just a book of Flam flam, it's it's a learning tool as well. So what I what I did deliberately was I don't know the the number one oh seven came in my mind and that's what I went with and I started writing down affirmations. So you know at night, tell you something that I do. I often listen to audios at night and I do self recordings. So it's it's amazing when you listen to yourself say positive things about yourself. It takes it take it will elevate your your vibration. It it truly will. I want you to try it. If you if you've never tried it, I want you to try it. Just try it. You know, and then play that thing back. Play it back and hear yourself. And then maybe record it again because sometimes you don't believe. But if you try, if your intention is to build that belief muscle, then you have to do things to build that belief muscle, right? Right. So I want to encourage you to get in the mirror and say your affirmations, affirm. Look at yourself, square it up in the eye, and say it. Let me just read some, some of these affirmations that's in my book. See, I raise my action and I raise my result. I am grateful for my family. I am grateful for my job. I am thankful for my children. I am grateful for my childhood. I My greatest gift is love. I am grateful. My greatest power is forgiveness. I don't set out to prove others wrong, but to prove myself better. I stay open-minded to opportunities. I am trusting my inner senses. I am beautiful. I am enough. I am designing my life. See, you say these things. Record yourself saying these things. Play it back.
play it back. The word for the day is confidence. Write that down. Confidence. Walk in confidence, okay? We're talking about our 21-day motivational mastery. Now, does it mean that the whole universe will shift in 21 days? It might. I've known stuff to be able to change in a split second. You ever got that phone call? And it sends your life in another direction? And most of the time that phone call is for something negative? How about you get that wake-up call and it's for something positive? And you go right into action, right in and there. I'm on my fifth day of my whole 30. It's a, it's a new um, eating lifestyle. And we're going to talk about that. Because when you're talking about manifesting what you want, everything has to be in line. Everything has to be in the line, okay? So, I, I don't want to um, to stay on here any longer, but I do want to leave you with this. Thank you. Yes, go order right now. Um, so, say your affirmations. I gave you plenty of affirmations right there. But you need more. You need to spend time with yourself saying your affirmations, recording your affirmations, listening to yourself, listening to yourself. Okay, so that's the lesson for today. The word for the day is confidence. Walk in confidence. I am walking in confidence. You say it. Yes, walk in confidence. Tomorrow, we'll be back. Same time, same station, same place. But if you need me, reach out to me. You know where to find me. Maybe I'll pop in. I don't know. I might pop in. So, with that being said, I just want to say I love you all with the um, agape love. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can change. Remember to walk in excellence. Expect great, 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 wonderful things to happen to you today. And the word for today, remember, is confidence. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Love you.